fine day, you shooters. Today we'll be evaluating two of the sweetest 1911s ever made, the Springfield TRP Operator and the Nighthawk GRP. Are you excited? Not as excited as I am. I had nine Red Bulls for lunch. We'll start with the TRP. This is some of the best work Springfield has ever done, from its flawless ergonomics to its heavy bull barrel that spits forth justice and patriotism. This weapon looks and feels awesome. The most badass external feature on this weapon is that it already has your name written on it. See that? It says operator right there. So whether you like it or not, when you purchase this outstanding war machine, it by default makes you an operator. Don't like it? Get back to your knitting. Next up, the Nighthawk GRP. GRP stands for Global Response Pistol, and I don't think it's a coincidence that Team America is our Global Response Force. So you can guess what pistol they use. Every part of this outstanding handmade weapon fits together tighter than these Daisy Dukes of Freedom on this operator body. And with a stainless barrel forged by Nighthawk Dwarves, in the fires of Mount Mordor, even Helen Keller could knock the bullseye out of a target. I'm also fairly certain that this is the exact firearm George Washington used to kill Hitler. So that pretty much makes this 2.3 pounds of pure patriotism that fits flawlessly in your hand. Now that we have effectively established how insanely badass both these pistols are, let's head in the range and see what they can do. Alright shooters, always remember whenever you're testing out a new toy or playing with a firearm in general, you need to make sure you're wearing the proper personal protective equipment. Boom. Today we'll be engaging these targets. These are simulating persons and or individuals trying to perpetrate communism on our fine country. It will not be tolerated. First up will be the Springfield TRP. I'll be firing this weapon not looking at the target because that's the kind of gun it is. As you can see, it literally punched a perfect smile through the target. And one of these eyes is a little bit off, but I'd say that the cross draft is probably responsible for that. Next up, the GRP. Now because the GRP is in a level all of its own, I will be firing this weapon blindfolded. Look at that. This weapon literally spews pure patriotism. Question is, shooters, which of these target slaying behemoths of the handgun world will you be taking home with you? We'll see you soon. America.